There's something incredibly um, precious about the donation of the brain. It's an act of generosity and an incredible act of hope for the future. Autism Burnett was established in 2014 to collect post-mortem brain tissue to support research in the molecular understanding of autism. And we have received over 300 donations from uh, families that support research in autism. Declan um, was my six-year-old son. Um, he passed away due to a seizure um, in his sleep and he was the light of our life and he was um, so kind and precious and sweet and just a ball of sunshine. Three months old is when I first started kind of noticing changes in his behavior, you know, he wasn't meeting some milestones. There's multiple things that go into his genetic disorder, obviously autism, um, intellectual delay, developmental delay, um, and seizures. There have been studies that have shown that kids with his diagnosis have passed away in their sleep. It's called SUDIP, and uh, that's unfortunately what happened with Declan. From the time a death occurs or is imminent, it's my role to support the family through the donation process. We want to understand what is happening uh, or what has happened, as well as make sure the family is comfortable and confident in working through the tissue authorization. If there's a death in the family, that's a terribly tragic and grief-filled time. But there is one way to inject some hope, and that's by knowing that their brain tissue will go to help other people. We knew we wanted to donate, but it made us um, feel that much better about our decision to go forward with this study. So I have both an older brother with autism and a daughter with autism, and my entire family has talked about this. I would encourage every family who has a child with autism to consider donating to the Autism Brain Net, that that donation is what's going to help us to create new treatments for other people with autism. There is the potential to help thousands and thousands of families. As you can imagine, it's incredibly rare. The family is both aware of the idea of brain donation for research and finds themselves in the circumstance to make that decision. I think that there are a lot of ways that autism brain net and that the tissue that's donated can help move the field forward. One way is that there are studies that are done in other uh, model systems and they can then be confirmed in the human brain. So it provides sort of a, a gold standard for understanding if discoveries are actually relevant to the human condition. It was really interesting to hear all the different ways, you know, that his sample through the next years, I mean, next decades will help. And that to me is huge um, to, to not only know that, that his sample is helping individuals right now, but potentially in the future.